Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scrambled Brains Wordcast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Bell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. It's episode 104. Yes. 104. Matt, did you know we're on the YouTube now? We're on the YouTubes? We're on the we YouTubes. We are. We are on the YouTubes. Yes. Surprise. <laughs> so should I like, you know, dress up fancier? I don't see well, the no. cameras. No. It, it, no they've just, always been here. Oh. Especially in the bathroom. Wow. <laughs> well, I should quit masturbating in there then, shouldn't I? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> uh, that's on uh, uh, porn tube. Or, oh, okay. Or you know, Does, um, red now, when you have that's other people. That's where we people, get our real, wait, wait. Uh, like, numbers. I, I want to know if there's if there's cameras in the bathroom. Do you have cameras in here when you might be recording other shows that aren't an all sausage fest cast? Um, <laughs> no, no, it's just us. No, so you just record us when we're in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Yay. I don't want to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's sexy. No, no, yeah, you're not weird. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, totally gay, news, but not weird. Most of the news we've got this week comes from New York Comic Con. Oh yeah. Before we start, well, I haven't seen Flash. Don't spoil it. I have zero news from New York Comic Con. I have okay. some news. Did you watch any Arrow? No, I, I, don't don't Arrow. Arrow. I don't watch Did Arrow. I don't watch Arrow. Have you got yes. to catch up? Yeah, I have one thing to talk about on Arrow. For Arrow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, season four? I don't four know what five? season we're on. I think it's four of Arrow. Yeah, I think so. Is it the season when he finally gets to call himself green? Yes, at Actually, the very end. Yeah. Oh, he did? Because I was joking because he the never last, did. The last season. Last season, it's like, Oliver Queen is the Arrow. Well- Speedy or not? Uh, um, Arsenal. Arsenal. Arsenal took the rap. That's such I'm a the Arrow. I name. killed Then that they guy faked his death while people. he was in prison. They so faked his death. So now you know the Arrow is dead, and now he's <laughs> the Green Arrow. <laughs> so, they'll never put this together. I'm going to show up in the exact same fucking costume. <laughs> I'm going to call myself Green same Arrow. Voice, yeah. Same scraggly. That, that jawline is is eerily uh, familiar. Yeah, he said he was. That's never right. Grow I'm not. The, he said he has never known to grow the goatee. Oh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that was a really. I don't know. Yeah, that that was the thing. I know it's just you know superhero yes. uh, suspension, uh, suspension of disbelief. You know, I'm thing, not. I'm not. I'm not Superman. There's the whole. I'm the Superman. A completely well, I different don't guy. Think anyone had ever seen him. Yeah. I mean, he had never been on TV. They would never okay. had pictures okay. of him. All right. So, so now is he end. holding press conferences? Like, no, um, hey, get a no. citizens, please don't work like Adam West fucking Batman or something. Yeah. Well, no, he put out a video at the end because what right. it is That's is he leaves and the city goes to shit, so he comes back mm-hmm. and says, you know, the arrow started this, and now you know he, but he's gone, and now I'm the green arrow, you know, right. or some shit like oh, that. Gosh. But it's a full on like he's got the little mask over his eyes, so he's yeah. got the domino mask and yeah. everything. Oh, he had that last season. And oh, really? The hood. <laughs> but you know, I would be mm-hmm. interested to see. If in the real world, like who is not going to recognize somebody oh, yeah. wearing a little mask over their eyes? Oh, they did that with the. It was Harley. Remember that in Batman the animated series? Mm-hmm. Harley Quinn bumps into Bruce Wayne and goes, "Wait a minute!" and puts her hand and goes, "I know that jawline." Yeah, she's like, "Wait." Yeah, DC comic <laughs> heroes are kind of dumb in that regard. They, uh, I mean, well, the they, ones that are like, like they come out and they show their faces, they immediately go like, "Yeah." I'm Reed Richards. I'm Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, I know you people aren't stupid enough to believe the, that yeah, the have one some guy, ego, ego. The, the one guy could stretch his face and make it different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do Fuck it. You know, yeah. whatever. Just put but on Superman's glasses. like, yeah, I have to blur my face really fast so they don't see it. Why don't you just wear a fucking mask? Well, well, he only does that for cameras. Whatever. And that's what the Flash always did, was he? The same shit you but get at least you know, he's on got, old cameras when you move. At him. least he's got... <laughs> Like a three fourths mask, at least the Flash. Oh yeah, a st- he doesn't yeah. wear anything. Su- it's so stupid. Uh-huh. Because he's Superman, why would he pretend to be anybody other than Superman? Yeah, because yeah. that's because he thing. landed in Kansas and they but taught they him hard work that. and yeah. But <laughs> somebody would put it together so, in case anybody you knows to save the trouble anybody looking up that the main villain in Arrow is. Uh, Damien Dark. Okay, yes. Oh, I did. That was the second thing. I did Very have a cool name. Thing. You know. Is so he a real character? Do you know who that is? Damien Dark. It, it's one of those that they go, that's a cool name. Let's use the name. Okay. But they don't have any plans. In in the in the, in the Arrow, he's into mysticism. You know, he can mm-hmm. stop arrows. He can kill guys by touching them. He's Doctor Strange. You know. 
in the comics. Or Dr. Fate. <clears throat> he's technically the tech guy for the hive. Oh. <laughs> you know, he's just this guy that likes to stay up current with high tech stuff. And he like the same the guys that the Teen Titans are beating the shit out of well, all the no, time? He's not, uh, was that Techno? No, no, not Techno. Uh, uh, Gizmo. Gizmo, yeah. Gizmo. Techno was the Thunderbolts. <laughs> Bright light. Bright light. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Gizmo. Don't get him wet. Don't feed him after midnight. And, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, okay, and one other notable thing about okay. that character is he's play. He, he's, a, he's a double agent. He's two time in. He's a. Dum Dum Dugan in Marvel Universe, and he's oh, yeah. uh, oh. double dipping, and he's uh. <clears throat> but what, you know you would name? never, Damian Dark. Yeah, but you'd see. never because he's a redhead with a big that big fucking burl, and they they bulk him up. Yeah. They put something in his sweater. He's huge and. <laughs> Captain America. Next thing you're going to tell me is that Deadpool Ryan Reynolds is going to go off and play like fucking Green Lantern or something. No, the other way around. Green Lantern's going to play Deadpool. <laughs> no, actually, played. I think he played Deadpool first in X-Men Origins. Oh. Okay, that is true. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But, oh, but uh, we don't count that because yeah. that sucks. Real quick, apparently the story is Ryan Reynolds stole, it, stole a uh, Deadpool outfit. Wouldn't you? I would. <laughs> he yeah. just said, I'm taking this. I can't believe Michael Keaton didn't get off that set without at least one bat suit. Speaking I would have because I would have got oh, down in my basement all the time. Good segue. Guess what actor from Batman Returns is making his way to Gotham? Paul Rubens? Yep. Now, you read our <laughs> I Facebook read the articles. Page. I actually read the articles on our Facebook page. Scramble Brains, uh, Facebook, uh, something, chat, something. Yeah. Which, yeah. And he's like, go to the Facebook page. That's what I'm saying. Listen to the, go listen to the whole episode, and I'll tell you the web page. I don't know right now. Talk about, you know, uh, fanboy. Facebook.com slash Scramble Brains. There it is. Yay. <laughs> but he was what? He was in Batman Returns for what? A whole of a minute, 30 yeah, seconds? Yeah, uh, the first five minutes. When, after the penguin ate the cat, and then they took him to the... Yeah, he, he's there. Thing. Okay, what well, it, it opens up. He's there in Cobblepot Manor, and like the the woman's birth and the kid. Then they then they the woman comes screams. out. So comes out yeah. screaming. He goes in there and he screams. Then you get a shot of they got to the penguin kid in a cage, and then he eats the cat. So then they take him to the park and they throw him over. And that's like yeah. three separate scenes in Batman Returns. Yeah, but it's all in the first five minutes. And then there's that scene where he's in a movie theater and he spanks off. No, they didn't film that. One. That was a cut scene. Well, speaking of Gotham, I uh, guess while we're on the subject, I had a couple things oh, there, too. Did uh, you finally get to watch Gotham? The li- yes! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Do you, you watch, bo- uh, well, how many episodes? There's been two I'm to the now. one that's yeah. pissing me off. Uh, With Jerome. Or three. I guess there's, there's, been three. there's a new there's one this three. week. I haven't no, seen No, no, uh, the or third tonight. one was last w- Yeah, there's a new one on tonight. Yeah. The the first one's when they break everybody out of Arkham. Okay. The second one's when they kill oh. the commissioner. Okay. And the third one was last week with okay. Jerome. And he was doing a good job. He was doing I was like, There's I don't spoilers. know why they're doing the Joker. Heath Ledger blew it away. You're wasting your time. Jared Leto's going to try this and fail miserably. I'm like, I don't even know why you're wasting time. By the third episode, I was like, this fucker's the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> and then... And then spoilers, spoilers, Some, spoilers, 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 spoilers. Something happens. Something happens. He may. It's been he, over a week. He may not be the Joker after all. Well, maybe they bring him back some way with like Venom or something, the and that Lazarus turns pit, his that know. turns his what skin white. There and his you go. Hair Someone green. threw him in the Lazarus pit, and it changes. Yeah. Even the thing when he's like talking to Bruce, and I'm like, Bruce knows him. He knows him from. A, I was like, this is fucking great. They've known <laughs> each other since he was a kid. They're gonna. They're always gonna fight. And I'm like, and then no. No, so that we can put over a guy who looks like a very ugly Kyle McLaughlin. Wait, put over or or a very very ugly Joseph Gordon Levitt. Wait, you mean one of the laughing people? The no, the big no. guy that's over the whole thing. The guy that stabbed oh, him. Oh, that guy. That okay. guy. Yeah. 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 And okay. I still hate Barbara. Yeah. yeah. Why okay. couldn't they have killed Barbara? One thing Why about couldn't Barbara. Barbara have died? Did you catch a little thing? I wonder. I think it was probably intentional. I fucking hate Barbara. There's the part where the 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 guy who sets himself up as the hero yeah. goes on stage. They knock him out. Barbara knocks him out with a mallet. Yeah, like. Uh, do you think uh, that was like Harley an intentional uh, Harley Quinn reference? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Why, why would the uh, the magician have an oversized mallet? You know. Yeah. 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 Well, she doesn't seem interested in Mister J. Mm-hmm. She seems more well, interested he doesn't in. Exist yet. Yeah. 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 yeah his sister. And then him, which then gets her jealous. Yeah. My gosh, I hate Barbara. And even that, that, that is was... such a shallow, not, it's, that isn't even a character. That's a facade. Uh. Barbara's a facade. <laughs> it's just, it is like, it is like a, a building 
on a movie set where you open the door and there's just two by fours pushing it up. There's nothing to her. It's such a and she continues to live and continues to go through this series where good characters like Jerome get fucking killed and it's pissing me off. I don't know. I still wasn't. I actually was relieved when Jerome was killed. I don't know. I, I, I liked him. I liked him a job. lot. I thought he was doing a great job. I felt like he was overdoing it. I mean, I I he, I started to warm up to him, but and his father was even in the circus. Oh yeah, he used to be a circus kid. Oh my gosh, it made so much sense. <laughs> he even had he even had the sob story like uh, uh, Ledger. Well, after mom and her boyfriend would have sex and beat, beat me. on me, yeah, beat me, <laughs> <laughs> beat me. So apparently, he was in the same trailer at the same. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's it was so good. And then what they set up is like, oh, no, like the Joker is an abstract idea. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, eventually it will become. Right. Somebody but will see, be. But then the Joker's not original because he's mimicking nobody, Jerome. No, nobody is going to do it as good as Jerome did it. <laughs> Jerome needed to be the Joker. I don't know. That's what they said about Nicholson. But you know what? Maybe, maybe. I actually somewhere. don't think anybody still has done it as good as Nicholson, but that's me. Oh, Pete I Ledger didn't like did a good Nicholson. job, but I don't think it was as good. Yeah, they're so it different. It what kind of joker you want. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Maybe Jerome's got a twin brother uh, that's driven crazy because he watched his brother. No, I like my idea that they test. Well, they haven't introduced the Lazarus Pit, so maybe, oh. but they have introduced Venom or um, what do they call it? It's not Venom. It's oh, uh, snake something. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but about. maybe right. they do something with that. Or or eats right. up their and bones. that somehow he's like, he's like, you know, you know, they bring Billy Crystal in and he's like, no, no, no. He's mm-hmm. mostly dead. <laughs> yeah, luckily. And, uh, well, and one other thing. Um, do you guys remember back in like the late 90s, I think, on MTV, there were these commercials with this cab driver that would – like talk about videos. Yeah, I remember that. He was vaguely. like all sweaty and greasy. I and, vaguely remember that. And like a yellow. I remember Dennis t-shirt. Leary coming on there and talking yeah. to me from time to time. Well, that yeah. cabbie, that is the guy that plays uh, uh, commercial uh, Gordon's partner. What's that guy? That Donald actor's Logue. Name? Yeah, Donald yeah. Logue. That was him. Oh, he was on as Jimmy oh, the Cabbie. I don't remember. See, I didn't put that together. I but vaguely, I just realized he was this on week. a show. God, my. Uh, grounded for life. Grounded for life. Har- I that, actually know yeah, all about Har- Donald Logue's career. <laughs> he was on Grounded for Life. He I love him. He He's was so the good. henchman sidekick in Blade. a Blade. Yeah. Oh yeah. Donald, I love Donald. Oh Logue. yeah, I do too. Oh, he was in a God. What he band was so it? So great. Oh, um, I'm a red, not a redneck. I'm a. Trailer trash or something like that. I don't remember that. I have to play it, and he he just more he's got the stained up wife beater, and he's just doing he's the just, horrible I've shit loved all it. through the video. Donald Logue, I've loved him in everything he's ever been. Oh, yeah, he's, he's like Paul Rudd. If you get a movie with Paul Rudd and Donald Logue in it together, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, fucking yes, give me more. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that'd be great. It'd be a Donald Logue, Paul Rudd, Rosario Dawson. <laughs> Holy shit, that'd be the greatest movie. I don't care what it is. Give, I'll take my money. I'm buying a ticket. That's awesome. Yes. So, yeah, but Jerome's dead. That's okay. Matter. I don't. Mm-hmm. I, that is. <laughs> <laughs> and they even, like, did the hair and the smile. I know. And, and I know. It, it I was... know it was great. You had Penguin. You had Riddler. Now you had Joker. They're talking about bringing in Freeze. Two faces there. Yep. I, I was like, yes. I was like, now let's start driving these guys crazy. When What's the first one's going to put a costume on? You know what I mean? It's well, like, you can't for another 10, 15 years. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I know that is the my, that is my biggest drawback, and it's hard. This kid making these awkward advances at Selena, who clearly the actress playing Selena Kyle is way more mature and way better at this than the <laughs> actor playing Bruce Wayne, because she looks like she's fifteen, he looks like he's nine, yeah. even though they're supposed to be the same age. Wizard, are you an angel? Yeah, <laughs> it's ex- exactly episode like that. one where the kid's hitting on the princess. I don't remember. Yeah, no. Yeah, Anakin's sitting on the Are you an point. angel? Yeah, okay. Anakin's sitting yeah, on the Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't remember <laughs> episode 1 at all. Most, most of us blocked it from our memory. Too. And it's like that. And she's like and he's like, "I I just I missed you." And she's like, "Yeah, sure. Okay, whatever." I got to get <laughs> here. Wait, what was what was the princess was the princess's res- response? Uh, we don't have angels in this mythology. <laughs> yeah, probably. No, he went on this whole really thing about like some moon thing there that was that angels. Was... She just went, oh. "Oh, okay." You mean like a like a Jedi like afterlife uh, hologram person? 
Yeah, the moment of those. No, that didn't exist. Uh, New York Comic Con, they revealed that Nuke will play a role in Jessica Jones. Nuke? You don't remember Nuke? He used I to be do. a Daredevil. I remember him I from the no. Book of the Dead. Yeah. I remember it he as the was... drug that they were, uh, that was the MacGuffin of RoboCop 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nuke was technically the... I don't remember Nuke. He was the Vietnam Captain America. It, they they was trying to recreate Captain America. It's like cyborg and steroids and mm, no, I don't remember. They were trying him. to and pretty much drove him insane. That's and weird. then they re- that's weird that I don't know him. Though. And then they rebooted it later, where uh, Logan Wolverine was a total dick before he lost all of his memories and went feral. He's mm-hmm. a total and dick he's now. the one. Yeah, he's, he's the one that tortured and screwed up Nuke to become nuts. <laughs> I was like, "What's changed?" Well, well, Logan's yeah. still well, a he's dead, dead, but so. Nuke remembers that, so they become enemies. I assume. Why do you, that's why Spider-Man threw him out of a ten-story window. Uh, and I believe how Nuke died in the comics, and in at least the, one of the time oh, that he yeah, died, <laughs> unless there was another to Nuke. stay permanently dead but, is their greatest in the, fear. In the Book of the Dead from like 1989, yeah, uh, that version of Nuke, he was trapped in an energy bubble, and he tried to like blast his way out oh, of his nuke power the... and burn himself. No, 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 no. You're thinking Squadron Supreme Nuke. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, yeah that's from nice. the Squadron Supreme. A this nuke is, is a nuke. That's all I. No, this is the the Super Soldier. Yeah, six one six Nuke. That's all a right. dumb name. That's good to uh, clarify for our listeners. Now, Flash once again uh, tomorrow night as we're recording this, Jay Garrick. They did something. I thought uh, that was already. No, no, that was the one with Adam Smasher was last week. See, now I checked to make sure I got that to record all new Flash episodes and there was nothing recorded for Flash. Mm, Tuesdays at seven o'clock. I watched it. Really? Mm, Okay. Yeah. So. uh, Well, my DVR didn't think it was new. um, There's a new uh, sizzle reel they showed at New York Comic Con. Mm -hmm. We can watch that in a moment if you guys want to. The one thing I like, though. Is they show Jay Garrick's telling his story, you know, in my world, I was the Flash. I don't know if it's supposed to be the 1940s, but in his world, it looks like the 1940s. 1940s. Mm-hmm. So that, that really is like, wow, that's great. That or is it actually, one of those weird things like Batman in the anime series where it's actually the 90s, but it still looks like we were stuck design wise in the 40s? Oh, yeah. yeah. Something like that. I mean, that's what. I actually like that aesthetic, the, the, the 90s, but it looks like the 40s. I think that's cool. Yeah. It can be. It can be cool. I think it. It could be. It's almost go always, off the rails. It's almost uh, always cool. Um. Uh, the only thing about the Flash that like really struck me with this last episode, kind of a, well, is that the the guy who plays the old man half of Firestorm, uh, what's his name? Uh, Martin oh, yeah. Stein. Okay. Doctor Stein. Is Professor he? Stein, do you think yeah. he just like gets there and they give him a script uh, right before they start rolling? <laughs> Because <laughs> everything he says sounds like he doesn't know what he's saying. Is like he the Barbara just... of this show? Yeah. <laughs> it. Uh, I mean, and he's he's like, he's got to use all this like technical jargon, and it's just so like mechanical. <laughs> and uh, I am acting unit two thirty three four. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that that was one thing that really <laughs> like stuck, stood out to me in this episode because they play, gave him a bunch of lines for some reason. Like all the great where... acting robots, <laughs> David Duchovny. <laughs> Yeah, it was a little, but um, what else did they, they uh, in the, the sizzle rule, uh, rule, they did show Zoom, and he does talk, ah. and you do seem pretty clear. But not so reverse we, flash. This is well, interesting, he's, I he's know. He's blurry because he's vibrating. Do you he's think got it's the gonna reverse be, flash. It's not, do you think it's going to be Wells again, or do you think? Wasn't well, that how it I, works? I think what's is happening, no. What okay. I think what's happening is the way Garrick tells it. Zoom is going from reality to reality. Is Zoom from Garrick's reality, or well, is he from a different he one? Fought in, he fought Garrick, and okay. I think he can absorb their speed force. Ooh. So I think Garrick at this oh, point— this is well, like Spider-Verse. It's the guys going around eating the spiders. <laughs> or like Hero. But but my prediction like is— Hero. The Jet Li movie? Oh, yeah, oh, wow. that's right, where he, he'd run into other versions of himself. Yeah, going like I, I actually Dimension never jumps. saw it, but yeah. Yeah, he was going yeah, around. I saw the first 20 kills. minutes of it. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Recall. I've never. I never sat through the whole thing. I'd Although Jet Li would have made a great Mandarin, by the way. Anyway, continue. I'd about bet what's going to happen is Garrick starts off without his powers, and then somehow before the end of the episode, Barry shares or and something. charges and, him up. Yeah, charges him up because we get on the seen, cosmic treadmill, gay. Yeah, we've already <laughs> seen that that uh, Wally or Wally Barry lost his powers the first season. And mm-hmm. then of course he gets them back, and yeah. I cannot believe I missed the first episode of The Flash. That's <laughs> bugging me. No, because no. I love The Flash. That is such a good show. Yep. Yeah, 
Oh, you'll like it. It's good. I know. Oh, it's cool. Oh, you know what? And one other thing I wanted to say about Arrow, the first episode of Arrow, it seemed like, wait, well, we've talked about this, right? They're trying to go a little more light yeah. and, and like fun like The Flash. And I felt like they... Less really, gritty like Nolan's Batman. Yes. And I feel like they have not found the balance yet. Like, it was it was all over. It was just kind of... I felt like it was sort of goofy at times uh, that made all the, like, more gritty stuff just feel weird. Yeah. See, this like is it, what... It always annoys me about these comic book properties. It's like, well, we have to go more realistic. Why? Did you ever try it the other way? Yeah. To well, see if it worked. And Flash is like, we're going to show and try it that way. We're going to just go ahead and just do it. And they did it, and it worked. Well, I'm wondering what happened because unless I've got to go back and rewatch the last episode, I remember Cisco gave her her uh, the Black Canary her new choke piece. Mm-hmm. She uses it. <laughs> Whoa! <and> uh, <laughs> she she uses it uh, in the last episode. And then I don't, I don't think it shorted out or anything, but she didn't use it at all. Right. I'm waiting for it. It's like, oh, she's got to blow these tires. I'm waiting for her to use her canary, and she doesn't use it the whole That's episode. True. Canary yeah. cry? Is that yeah. what it's called? Yeah. Well, I thought it, it looked ridiculous when she used it. I thought, I like the old way, but like there's just a little device that she threw oh. out there. Well, that's when they but, was trying to make it more realistic, right? And right. then this way they, or she's on it, or it's on a choker, and but well, at uh, least that makes sense why she screams and it does it. Yeah, right. But uh, there was no Star Wars news coming out of New York, or not really. But I, you know what? I didn't really look into it all that much. Well, I think I think you we're got trying... one job. I You're know the Star Wars I guy. I, you know what? Here's the big fucking news: Star Wars is coming out in December. Oh, I tell you what. Uh, Saturday was uh, this last Saturday, October tenth, was Star Wars Reads Day. Reads, Reads Day, Day. yeah, That's where fun. they get they you go into your local libraries or your bookstores and read something with Star and Wars. you get something with Star Wars a book. Why didn't? Why haven't you been promoting this on the the show here? Because uh, eh. I, I promoted it at it. work. Yeah, how much of that stuff in those Kate cases are yours? Any of it? <laughs> all, all of that's yours? All the stuff in the cases. That's oh, I didn't know you had some of that stuff. That's neat. It's buried. It's the thing. You well, can't even just... tell it's gone when you look because it's oh. all in there. A yeah. Little, a little crossover since we're talking about Mark Hamill confirms he will return as the trickster. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah. Really. I saw that. So. I'm trying to stay spoiler free with The Force Awakens, well, and that, that means I stay <laughs> away from new sites. Right. Whip you jab. I will talk about The Force Awakens ad nauseum once December is over. Uh, report Ruffalo to appear as the Hulk in Thor Ragnarok. Okay. Oh, is he going to fight Thor again? I hope oh, so. that'd be awesome. Uh, allegedly. And bless uh, Tom Hiddleston says he hasn't talked to Marvel in two years. What? <laughs> but they haven't gotten ready to, to film Thor yet. Thor's still probably. Yeah, but I really, he's awesome. Oh, they've got to. He's, he's Odin now. He's Loki pretending to be Odin. He's got to be on. Yeah, it. now, but right. the, has um, um, oh. not Anthony Daniels or Anthony Perkins. Hopkins, Hopkins thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad true. I went to Anthony Perkins. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> he was, wasn't he Norman Bates? Yeah. Was that Anthony Perkins? Yeah, yeah. So I get that with the before Hopkins. Okay, whatever. Wait, Anthony Hopkins, though. Is, does he had talks to come back? Because of... Wait, is that him? He's Odin. Okay, I'm thinking of Bob Ho- Ho- Hoskins. He's dead. Yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> Hoskins, Hopkins, what's the difference? Oh, yeah, he played Mario in the right, Super Mario right. Brothers movie. Yeah, okay. And Eddie Valiant in Who Framed... Which it is sad there was never a sequel to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, well, there's still a chance they can get. Uh, but but won't have Bob Hoskins in it, right? Yeah, I was just gonna name. And he was that was say, such yeah. a great combo, him and Roger. They'll have Jared Leto play that part. Fuck them. <laughs> uh, you, oh yeah, but Tom Hiddleston, he's like the uh, he's, he's like the Daryl of the Marvel universe. Yeah, yeah. Everybody I loves him. him. I was making come uh, my brothers down. We went to the Mizzou game this weekend, and of course they and they won. <laughs> I knew they lost. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, that. let me just put to anyone who knows me, and and I, I enjoy going because it's you know me and my brother we do mm-hmm. this every year, but uh, we went to pick up one of our cousins in Columbia, take him to the tailgate, you know, mm-hmm. to do that before we went to the game, and we got lost. The kid lives in Columbia. <laughs> we got so lost. How do you get lost in Columbia? It's a giant grid. 
and uh, we you drive up, in one direction long enough, you'll get yeah. someplace you know. But uh, I have gotten lost in Columbia. We, really? we were talking. I, never got and lost I don't in know. I don't know how they got on the subject, but my brother and him got talking about how everybody has something. You know, you got your football guys. My cousin and I are more comic and toy guys. Mm -hmm. And I looked at my cousin. And I said, "Yeah, you know, the whole time that we were driving around." And I was getting mad. At no point did I said, all I want to do is get to the fucking game. Yeah, yeah. no. Because I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. But let me tell you. Well, we missed the game. They, Might they, have run by the comic book shop. Toys R Us is down the street, yeah. too. They put millions into that stadium. At no point do they think, hey, let's fix the roads to where people can get in and out of here. No. <laughs> fuck, that's, that's MoDOT's problem. What the fuck? We left at 930. It was middle of the fourth quarter. 930. We were leaving town, like getting on the off ramp to get on what 70, 63. Yes, yeah, get 63. on sixty three at eleven o'clock. What? Because <laughs> of an how hour and a half to get from and Faroe Field is not that oh, far yeah. down there. We had we had to park behind the the uh, the hospital and one of the parks. Oh yeah, right yeah, no, the yeah. No. Well, my like, mom was in the hospital. She was in that hospital, so I know exactly what yeah. you're talking about. And we're talking. We come out where it's. Um, I think it's where my wife goes to get her, her uh, eye appointments done. Mm -hmm. The last, I'm like, all right, all we're gonna do is zoom up here. We'll we'll hang a left. They'll take us to like a little short road, and then we're on stadium. Boom. They wouldn't let us go left. <laughs> so you had to go to the main four way there in front, and then go all. Now, oh wow! And, and what it was is all the lights were blinking, so they had the cops out there with the because you had thousands of people, you know. And now here's the interesting thing: once you got what I love is there's no parking. So, oh, like, yeah. for a mile and a half down the road, there's just cars lined up on the side of the road. Yeah. Build a fucking parking garage. The The hospital is right across from the stadium. Yes, it is. And there's probably, what, four stoplights? Yeah. Three, three, three or four three, right four in stop. there. They were all blinking. You all had cops out there with the, you know, waving people on and whatnot. So, once you get on the stadium, the next stoplight down the hill worked. You're like going, yes, the stoplight at the bottom of the hill worked. All I right, know the one just, exactly when he's talking about. We're just about. trucking through now. We're moving. Then you get. You should have taken that stoplight because it would have oh, taken you out. <laughs> you got you got two more before you get yeah. to the highway. Yeah. The one next to the movie theater was working great. Yeah. I remember that one. You get one right to the off ramp, and there's a cop. <laughs> so oh, you like, should have went why? down the one at the bottom of the hill and just gone out. Well, AC. see, I didn't know that. You if I would have known that, that, I would have done that. It's like why? Why did they do It'll that? It'll take you out to that one exit. It's like geez. all the way down there. Yeah. <clears throat> Cuz I've gone that way before. And then we made it from Columbia to here in less than an hour. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> like that reminds me, I used to live in uh, Sedalia where they have the Missouri State Fair. Uh, we were coming home for the weekend, but it also we were leaving about the time that like, uh, you know, a Keith Urban or some Chesney guy or whatever the fuck country guy was concert was letting out. I wanted to turn left and go down to the highway to go the way I needed to go to come back to the beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Yeah. They, no, I want, I turn my turn signal on to go that way. And the cop directs me the other way. Uh, and I stop and I'm like, no, no, I want that to go way. that way. And he's like, no. <laughs> and he points that way. I had to fucking go down there, down oh, yeah. back behind Walmart, all the way back up, down there past Goodies, past 7th uh. Avenue, and all the way back to whole fucking town in a big fucking circle to get out. Bullshit. Mm. <laughs> what is going on? Well, I'm missing oh, something. Uh, Will and I, it's it's a joke from the the season premiere of The Walking Dead last right. week. Last Segway. time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I even though I didn't see it. It's, yeah, uh, it's funny. Yeah. It's funny. Um, it opens up. And, and it's this cartoon. Yeah, this cast. Yeah, this. Lots uh, of CGI in this episode. Is that what this is saying? I, well, I think not it's not seen. as good CGI. Oh, okay. Is what they're trying to say. It's uh yeah well let's describe it well you okay. should share it to the Facebook Real quick, page. Go let, to the Facebook page. Anyone who watched yeah we'll share it. Uh, you'll have to do it because I can't do it from the Kindle. Uh, watched it. It opens up and. Uh, Real quick for Matt, who doesn't watch the show. I don't watch show. The Walking Dead. They, they found this little that was going to be a housing development. And I these, do remember that. Okay, these people were herded there. They said, stay here until things get better. And the military just left and didn't come back. So they build up these big walls, these big, very sturdy metal steel walls. Mm -hmm. They don't leave. You know, maybe a couple of them will leave to go get supplies. So as long as they're inside, they're safe. Mm -hmm. And they're like, we'll just wait till it blows over. 
<laughs> then you get the characters that's been, you know, your main characters Out there. that come in like, you fuckers are crazy. Eventually, either the zombies are going to get in here and eat you because you have no, you're not prepared in any way. Or some assholes are going to come in here. And take, take over. Every, yeah. And Rick's, the, the main character is trying to tell him, you're nuts. We've got to stay prepared. Well, they're out burying this body and they keep hearing something. They hear walkers, zombies. Mm-hmm. And they're like, what the hell? So they keep walking, they keep walking. They come to this quarry where these, these uh, semi-trucks are like backed in together or whatever. Oh, yeah, spoilers, by the way. Yeah, and this whole thing is just filled with hundreds, if not thousands, of zombies. Mm-hmm. And they can't get out. And so they're like, why hasn't anyone told us about this? Well, we don't go that way. So we just figured they'll, they're fine there. It's like, what? The, no, the damn yeah, if birds. They, if they find fucked. a way out of here, yeah, you're, you're there fucked. are 100,000. You know what you should be doing? You should be dropping high explosives down yeah. in there and blowing them up. That so, was the consensus at my house as well. So what happens is. They're all condensed here. If we can get as many of them as we can in here and then blow this fucker up. Well, mm. what happens is they're, they're getting ready to do it like a dry run. They've got all these cars. They're, they're going to open this up. They've, they've got these walls set up. They've got all these cars along the road. And zombies are, are herd animals. If they just start walking, they're just going to keep walking the same way. Mm-hmm. You know, They're not going to wander off or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So the whole plan is to herd them out and then take them down and just let them just keep walking just away from the town. Well, as they're discussing why this. They, no, blow them up while they're there. Well, <laughs> while they're discussing this. One of the semis that's up on like a ridge falls, so I guess it maybe gives them a way out. So they're like, "Shit, we yeah. got to do this now. We got to right. do it now." Well, and the, yeah, the line was actually that was a thing that I was watching it with. Uh, we have like a little Walking Dead, you know, group. Oh, well, they watch it together. Oddly, I've never been invited. Uh, <laughs> me either. To, uh, you know, me and Candy and a couple other friends. Uh, huh. You know, we've been doing it the last couple seasons. This is oh. before the show oh. uh, started. Oh. I think I this show that. started. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, I've never been. Uh, no, I was, I, you know what would be funnier is like, he invites me all the time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh-huh. I, but I don't watch it. So, no, uh-huh. that doesn't happen. You're going to come over this week? I but maybe. I might. Yeah. No, uh, I uh, just sit in the kitchen and make nobody, popcorn and stuff. Nobody caught. Yeah, apparently. It, I don't know. I caught it uh, in the dialogue. It, I mean, it was all like hectic and stuff because they were just standing yeah. there and then the truck falls off and then everything Why goes the crazy. It's like, oh, we're doing well, it now. It was just... It, there, there was two down at the bottom that was kind of wedged in, keeping them in. Blocking there was like one, one that was just kind of like on the edge. There's up. It's like uh, basically a uh, like a cliffside access road. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there were two semi trucks like parked next to each other, blocking that road. And the one that was on the edge, close or the zombies that was don't close commando to the crawl. Edge. No. No. Yeah. They what about ones that are missing legs? Not at all. Nope. They and, don't. Uh, they like come up and they're like to the trucks and like tire. But oh, wow. my question right. was this. The one on the edge. The edge gave way, and the truck fell off into the quarry. Now, there was a new, well, that and I'm kind of glad well, they then it opened up the roadway so the zombies could go through. And, and oh, what, okay. what Rick yelled, it's open. Uh, something. Uh, we got to do it now. And then so, there's this one guy who's like, wait, we haven't even practiced yet. Blah, blah, blah. How are you like, going to practice this? Right. Well, it's like just going the route, like learning the route and going, okay, this is where we got to. But then Rick also, then Rick said, um, uh, there are, I don't know, he, he said uh, something about they're on the way, they're on the road, we got to do it now or something like yeah. that. They're, that's the way home or something. He said something to that effect, like, to indicate that that road headed toward the town. Yeah, so they, they had got to out like, now do what they, they had to do. Well, wait, wait, wait. Okay, if you can herd zombies like that, just push them in a direction and they'll go that way, why don't they just have like a huge gigantic pit with a gigantic fire in it? Yeah. Herd the zombies to into this trough that heads well, that way, get behind it with a bulldozer, and you just keep pushing them until they actually, all go into the pit. What I thought was if they would have just used that quarry with that ramp and put one of these angled walls up there on the road, mm-hmm. the, the the zombies would have hit it and just kind of followed the wall along, and then the zombies coming up behind them would have just pushed the ones in front off the cliff, mm-hmm. and they would have just been a constant, like, falling off of the cliff of the zombies. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't get this. Well, it seems like a real easy way to kill all these zombies, and they made it way more complicated well, than it needed me, to be. what got me, like I said, they never said the end game. They they were hurting the zombies, and as far as you know, all they were doing was like, yeah. they'll just keep walking. We get them so. We're what if they're like, well, uh, and they spread out and circle no, around? They they, 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 they they had like Daryl on a motorcycle, and they had a, 
uh, a chick in red in a car. Yeah, a couple other folks in a car, like leading them, like yeah, making, like making noise, noise, going so down they would the, follow. the road, and they were shooting off flares occasionally. Yeah, and, and they had cars parked, and they don't take them like twenty miles down, like twenty more miles. Yeah, and then, and then come, lose them, and I then guess, lose them, and come back. Now here's my thought. I, I said, oh. no, you just kill them. I yeah, said, I don't understand. Well, this. there's thousands of thousands, but yeah, I guess maybe they didn't have explosives. I guess we haven't seen them. Blend. As Bruce Wayne has shown us in Gotham. All you need is some household chemicals, and you can make a bomb to blow up a door to the back cave. There you go. <laughs> right. but my, oh, no, he had uh, nitrogen fertilizer. Yeah, oh, yeah, he had fertilizer. But what, what That's blew my mind— That's not a household item for you guys? No. What, like I said, there was no end game. It was just hurt him out yeah. so far away. I said, I can't wait till like, mid-season. A couple people show up to the town and go— Man, we had a camp and everything was going great, and this fucking wave of zombies come yeah. out of nowhere. It must have been a hundred thousand zombies. <laughs> it must have been a hundred thousand fucking zombies. Right, well, killed everybody. We saw yeah. some flares. We thought that maybe there were other people. We went towards it, and then zombies. <laughs> right, there were. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a lot. Now, uh, on the walk, on the Talking Dead, after I watched part of that, and Greg Nicotero was on there. Who he's the big uh, special effects guy. Yeah. And he directed this episode, and he said that there were a thousand zombies. I think he just meant that were actually made up, like people that yeah. were used at different times. I think uh, only I think he said the most they had at one time was like three hundred and fifty. But they just multiplied but, them yeah, with the right. CGI and yeah. But it was a yeah. I mean, there yeah, it could it had to been a couple no, good maybe ten as a you know there. movie guy. How did you like the transition to flashback? I thought it worked pretty well. Uh, everybody else in my group didn't like it. Um, this was the first episode ever. Whenever they do a flashback, it was in black and white. Why did they send? You can't. If you've set a precedence for flashbacks, you have to stick with it. Well, because here, well, this is the first season or first episode of the season. Right. And I'm so glad it's they. Sort of catching us up. Because my wife is the type to go, what just happened? Where are mm -hmm. they in the kitchen? What's going on here? Why aren't they on the road anymore? It's in black and white. It's a flashback. <laughs> you don't right. have to. It's like I don't the have to. Pages are a dream sequence. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I thought it worked. Yeah, um, and yeah, I thought it was helpful to keep because it would have been very confusing because they just kind of cut back and forth. And it wasn't like a. It was like a, like twelve hours ago. You know, it was never like, you know, it wasn't years or days. It was. So. And actually, and they, they just they put did it at the thing bottom at the of the screen beginning. twelve hours ago. <clears throat> no. They did a thing at the very beginning, speaking of, like, filmic uh, uh, devices. I, I thought it was effective. Like, it opened with the last shot from the previous yeah. scene season uh, where Rick just, like, executes a guy, basically. Yeah. And it, so it, he, it shows him shoot the guy. I mean, it's, it's showing Rick, basically. You know, you don't see him shoot. You know, it's just his face. Pointing down and firing and then, the gun. And then it, like... The color drains out. It goes to black and white, and then like fades to black. So, and I thought that was a cool, because that and that was like the initiation. I think then it is comes that the way right to in. tell you that everything in black and white happened in the past. I think yeah. yeah I thought man. it was kind of a cool way to set up that yeah. Like this is this is what happened. Kind of yeah. That idea. But it's sort of like have you ever seen Hunt for Red October? They're speaking Russian, but they don't want to speak Russian the whole movie. Yeah. So they're speaking Russian. It closes in on one guy's lips, <clears throat> yes. and then he switches to English, and then they pull back, and then everybody's speaking Maybe. English. So right. you've now been told visually that well, it's an they are speaking Russian. It's a great device. Yeah, that now, was, now, see, the yeah. great device also now is that was it last year or the year before they did a marathon of The Walking Dead, in like so many, white. in black and white. Because like day oh, of the day, yeah, yeah walk, not, uh, night, night of the, of the living, living dead. dead, right? So now all that's in the past, and that's all flashback. Yeah, <laughs> you go back and watch him in black and white. Oh, oh yeah, hmm. makes you think. Yeah. So, hmm. all right. Well, so another uh, season premiere, uh, series premiere this week mm -hmm. was uh, American Horror Story. I didn't see it. Which <laughs> I had. I don't think I've talked about much on this show. Was but, it Hotel? Uh, yeah, Hotel. Lady Gaga. Which um. This I mean, is based on a real thing. Have you guys seen the video, the YouTube, the video with the woman and they found her in the water tower? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Is that? I, I didn't know that. They haven't introduced anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently that's based on that. Uh, something Lim or something. Her name. Yeah. yeah. yeah I've watched that. It's really mean, creepy. I mean, that, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. She's like Elisa, talk, Elisa it looks like she's talking to somebody that's not there. She yeah. keeps looking out the door. Right, right. Well, they haven't introduced any characters like that or a scenario like that, but I wouldn't be surprised because that's kind of what they do uh, on this show is they'll kind of they'll they'll have their premise, 
which, you know, the first one was like a haunted house, then uh, like an asylum, uh, a it... coven of witches, and then a freak show. Yeah, it didn't have something to do with a circus, traveling the last carnival. one. Yeah, traveling, yeah, circus thing. with, But basically it was just a freak show. Um, and then, yeah, now hotel. So, And they just kind of take all the little kind of, you know, urban legendy stories and, and some things from reality, and, and they pack them into – if it fits in the scenario, you know. So yeah, um, but I watched a little bit of Coven and wasn't very impressed. Actually. Yeah, I didn't like Coven very much. That was probably they're my like, least like, favorite season. I've heard season. all these great things about this show, and I watch it, and it's like sort of like eh, this looks like a TBS show. Yeah, well, this <laughs> season, I'd say this is a good season to get back onto it. Like I thought this episode, this this is like pro- maybe my it's definitely one of my favorite episodes of the series. It's so. Okay, is, is Lady Gaga a vampire? What the fuck is going on? Okay, with that? that is something I'm not clear about. Uh, yeah, there is like blood drinking going on, but there are no like uh, overt. They, they they don't say they're vampires. They don't show fangs. It may just be like a sex orgy, blood feast kind of thing, because there's a lot of sex orgying going on. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. And uh, there's like, yeah, I don't. Well, and the thing that I really like about the show, I guess beyond like actual content it's just that they seem to be pushing the limits of what they can possibly do on on a what is it? it's on is it on a it's on fx fx yeah uh oh that's right it is and uh, i appreciate it when things do that, like but, yeah how much sex orgy you really see yeah, yeah really. uh more than you'll ever see on any other show probably oh, on right, tv okay. uh and and it's like and it's bizarre like gimp with a strap on kind of sex orgy stuff like uh like that's not your guys' sex orgies? Um no. Okay. Just me then. But uh but yeah, it's 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 it was really fun. I or I mean in that like twisted way. Uh so if you're into that sort of thing, I recommend it. And mm-hmm. and it's also kind of campy. It still has that going. That's that's kind of a thing that, that that's kind of their their thing. That's sort of the vibe. Uh, mm-hmm. Kathy Bates is like the uh, receptionist. <laughs> and, is Zachary uh, Quinto in this one? Not he's, yet. In the first I don't think he's ones. going to be. Yeah, I think he he hasn't been in for the last two seasons. I watched some of Asylum. Asylum was a little yeah. better. I liked than Asylum Coven. quite a bit uh, because it went just crazy. Like it just had everything. I I, th- I appreciated the excess of, mm-hmm. of Asylum. I didn't. I watched a few episodes. I wa- <laughs> Sadly enough. There was a marathon on <laughs> while I was wrapping Christmas presents, and I watched about three or four episodes of American Horror Story Asylum while wrapping Christmas presents one year. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> huh. We're closing yeah. in. Anyone here got stars? No. No. Unfortunately, that was one of the most exciting <laughs> things about oh, The Walking Dead season premiere oh. for me. Was I finally saw an Ash vs. the Evil Dead commercial. Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Yep. I saw, yeah. <laughs> It'll be out on DVD, hopefully, eventually. eventually. I'm still waiting on Daredevil, but Maybe whatever. sooner than you think. What? No. <laughs> what? That looks awesome. Oh, like, I, that, I, I think I understand where you're oh. going with that. We are completely legal means of getting it. Hey, no. I didn't say it. Yeah, I thought they, it looked it's like le- they nailed it to me, like on that, oh, like yeah. the tone. He looked like Ash. I saw the, yes. I saw the picture. I'm like, holy shit, that's Ash. Well, that's we just should watch slightly the older Ash. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I was never a big fan of Army of Darkness. I felt like it was too cheesy, like yeah. too slapstick, too campy. And this feels really because I loved it because it was too slapstick. Right, and campy. everybody did. Yeah, yeah, I'm like in the minority on that. I think, but mm-hmm. I loved Evil Dead too because I felt like it was a good balance. Yeah, like, they definitely had a lot of the slapsticky stuff, but there was also a lot more. I don't like, think I've ever seen Evil Dead too. I've seen Evil Dead and I've seen Army of Darkness. Well, well two's ever. just a remake of one, right? I mean, pretty, and, and I saw and I. I saw stuff, the remake. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Which was in the end. It was okay. Uh, but this feels more like two to me. Like, it's like a little, I don't know. Well, I mean, but it's it's definitely over the top and silly, too. I don't know. It just, it felt good. I liked the trailer. Maybe I was just excited. Now, is this the one where at the end they're putting the crosses up? Uh, Did they have the hat? Oh, no. Apparently no. they had killed these two old people that turned into, what are they called? Uh, oh, what are they called? The, the evil dead. Oh. Were there zombies or demons or De- um, dead deadites? Hit, deadites. They, deadites. They're turned into deadites. And he's putting these two big crosses in the ground where they just burn. He's like, maybe we need to say something. She goes, you do realize that they were Jewish, right? And he's like, 
No, no, I didn't. <laughs> that was somebody, awesome. I was That's somebody exactly said, what I told me that earlier. See, that was a pro- my big problem with the Evil Dead remake. I was like, this isn't fucking funny at all. Where is I want? I need Bruce Campbell quipping in this. Oh yeah. yeah. Did he even make a cameo in? There's even, something no. like an after credit scene. Or they something. did. They used the car. The car was in there, but it was like on the side of the house. It wasn't running. They weren't driving in yeah, it. Yeah, but I mean, it was so serious that movie it. was. Yeah, and oh, I'm yeah. like, ah, this isn't. I kind of like that mixture. Yeah, yeah, right. I I really appreciate the first movie. It had it had very little like horror. It was trying to be a straightforward, but see, you know, horror shit movie. like yeah. what he just said is the kind of shit I'm looking for. You didn't know they were Jewish, right? No, yeah, <laughs> no, I right. didn't. That was perfect, <laughs> right? Yeah, the trailer I'm talking about, it's got like he jumps across the room and the chainsaw is flying up and he sticks his socket into oh, it yeah. and like, oh it, yeah, it's all fast cut because it's commercial, yeah. but. And then it ends with him, like, saying, what? You've never seen somebody with a chainsaw off her hand before? <laughs> or was this, it opens up with him putting on a girdle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, look, <"Lindemar>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, wait. Well, one one oh. last thing. Also, before we move too far away from American Horror Story, uh, speaking of Lady boss. Gaga being in it. Yeah. I thought, yeah, like, the whole time I've been seeing this promoted, I'm like, ugh, what? This is a lame gimmick, uh, you know, like, yeah, who cares? Like, like, it's Lady... I mean, I guess this means there's going to be a lot of singing in it or something. Uh, no singing so far, <sighs> and she actually does a surprisingly good job. I actually... I have no complaints about her performance in this. Because they're so, like, they're like, Lady Gaga, okay, we're going to be we're gonna be, we're gonna be having a uh, sex orgy with a gimp with a strap on, <laughs> and we need you to be as weird as possible. And she was like, like, is it Wednesday already? <laughs> <laughs> That's Tuesday. All right, whatever. She, you know... Yeah, it's interesting because she does have the air about her like this is she she nails it like she it feels like this is her, you know, like the character she's playing. She's she feels very authentic in the role, I thought. So uh, maybe she was just born that way. Oh, ha, ha, ha. OK, that's all for now. <laughs> folks. <laughs> uh, OK, so uh, and hey. we're back. Wow. Okay. What you th- we just we watched that we watched the preview for Ash versus the Evil Dead, and it was amazing. <laughs> the squeals of delight. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I I'm so excited for it. I you see you know, thirty se- or uh, five minutes ago, he didn't even realize how good this was going to be. It's yeah. amazing, <laughs> and I just kind of talked about the commercial I saw. This. Is it's like good. ten times better than what I just was talking it's about. It's so exactly. Well, we'll have to post it. Exactly <laughs> what I wanted. I mean, I have never seen something live up to the expectation. Oh, Campbell's pushing this hard on all of the what I expected and... it to be to so exactly be exactly what I and wanted. And I feel it to like be. I still I feel like what I said uh, is still accurate. Like the the it it feels maybe not. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like it, it's definitely they're going for comedy, but the gore. And yeah. Oh, it was like great! The, yeah, uh, the, uh, the, I don't know the, the special effects. It was such a good yeah. mixture yeah. of all of that. There's <laughs> horrific imagery, but Bruce Campbell being as funny as hell. Yeah, it's just like it's I, like one of the greatest things I've ever Lucy seen. Lucy Lawless is in it now. I didn't yeah. know that. What was she in? She's in some other show recently. Uh, she was in Shield. Oh yeah, she was. Wait, she was in Battlestar Galactica as well. Oh wait, no, she was in Parks and Recreation. That's oh, or that. Okay. So Whatever. she gets around. <laughs> Uh, so, but yeah, uh, yeah, it looks amazing. Well, I mean, it's Sam Raimi, and it so that's why Lucy oh, Lawless yeah. is there. Oh, that's, I didn't know they had the thing. I well, mean, what's the she thing he with? produced uh, Xena, Xena. And Hercules. Oh, yeah, and she and was all in that. Spider-Man, the first Spider-Man movie too. She had a cameo. Remember the the woman who goes, guy with eight arms and legs. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that's Lucy problem. Lawless. Yeah, that's right. I remember. And it's oh yeah, this is but this. I wish I had stars. I'm kind of <laughs> hoping that somebody at Dish Network fucks up and they give me another free preview of oh, stars. That's true. Yeah, they because free, free preview I would love if they give me a Halloween free preview. I'm watching this and I'm going to be so disappointed when they take it away because <laughs> that looked great. But I mean, it's a series, so it's yeah. a weekly. I like. I don't. Sort of. I won't be watching The Walking Dead. I don't watch <laughs> The Strain. I will watch every yeah, episode yeah. of Ash vs. <laughs> the Evil Dead because it was fantastic. Yeah. That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I haven't been that excited since I saw the first trailer for Spectre. <laughs> Which I saw a new trailer. I don't know if it's a new trailer, but they had a trailer for Spectre during Walking Dead also. Yeah. That I, I hadn't it, seen. And 
I think I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to that. I that's going to be good. I'm I'm thinking that's going to be really good. I'm yeah. looking forward to it immensely. Yeah. yeah. Like uh that better that better live up. They aren't re- they aren't revealing much, but it's I no, don't know. I think it's that exciting to me. I, I've heard rumors this is going to be the longest Bond movie ever made, and yeah. Bond movies are fucking long. Yeah, they're like a three hour ordeal, which I love because I love James Bond movies. So if I go in and get three hours of solid James Bond entertainment, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Um, so if this is the longest one, well, good, fine. Quantum of Solace is the is the uh, shortest one. Huh. It felt like the longest, though. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm kind of hey, No, Moonraker that. feels like the longest. Holy shit, Moonraker sucks. Really? Oh, I hate Moonraker. But Jaws. Yeah, he finds him a pretty... He. It's like, <laughs> he's fucking like... It's like Bugs Bunny <laughs> fighting Yosemite Sam in yes, that movie. I know. <laughs> it's like... It's like just a series of Bond outsmarts him and makes him do, and he like literally smashes through a wall. Oh, and right. he gets up and just like pushes and brushes himself off, and he's like, "Oh, get that rabbit!" Right, and also, so do you know like the backs? Do you know does Jaws? Does he have like an actual like mechanical jaw, like a hydraulic jaw or something? Because the human jaw couldn't bite through some of those steel cables. No, I don't know. Even if he has sharp metal teeth, I don't know. I do know he is based. He is based on an actual book character, yeah, who was a gangster from *The Spy Who Loved Me*, the book mm. *The Spy Who Loved Me*, which is actually nothing like the movie *The Spy Who Loved Me*. <laughs> um, it is a book told completely from the point of view of a girl, one of Bond's conquests. Oh God! Oh. And she goes off on some retreat someplace, and these gangsters end up there, and then Bond ends up there. Interesting. It, Ian Fleming wait, so disowned wait, did this. Did he this know? Book. Did he know? Did she know Bond? Bef- like they weren't together no. before she went to this retreat. Okay. No, Bond so just had to where, be there. This is where she, she met. She got him. in trouble with some gangsters that happened to show up at this place, oh. and Bond is there too. And Bond does what Bond does best, and that's yeah. kill a bunch of people. And then she goes away with him, or yeah. did she just see him in action? Uh, okay. No, no. I think they they, they probably screw. Him. Well, so, yeah, but it's Bond. Then he may it's just Bond. leave her there. But I mean, in, as speaking of Moonraker, a girl comes with his room. In Moonraker, he shows oh. up in Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> he's got. He's like, well, there's a woman there, a hot Brazilian girl, and he's like, oh, well, I have to go here and here and here, but I have some time to kill. And then he just starts on doing her robe, and they have sex. <laughs> Good to be Bond. Then, like three <laughs> scenes the later, Jaws special. tries to kill her, and he's like, you better get to safety. And then we get rid of her. Yeah, because we have to get you know G- uh, Doctor Goodhead in there. <laughs> That's really her fucking name. I think it's Honey Goodwi- Goodhead or something like that. God. <laughs> and that is also that also is the movie that ends on the famous line, I think he's attempting reentry. Oh ha ha. I All hate right. Moonraker. Moonraker is so bad. <laughs> and what Okay, and Jaws and the, yeah. the little <laughs> Only Ben girl. Affleck can stop the Moonraker. What happened? They like are on the space station when it blows up, and they but they somehow survive. Yeah, they just wave as they fly off into space. It's okay. not even mentioned that if they go one way, they're going out into the vacuum of space to die. If they go the other way, they're going to burn up on reentry. Let's not even address right. that. Either way, yeah. they're happy because they found each other. Yeah, Jaws yeah. falls in love with a pigtailed girl who doesn't speak English or something. She and doesn't she, like, speak at all. Where and she There's, like has leader hosen on at some point. I don't know what the fuck. And then there's one time when he shows up at like. When he's in Rio de Janeiro, he shows up at, like, it looks like an old Western movie set that he arrives at on Donkey or some bullshit. <laughs> and it turns out that's where Q's testing stuff. I don't even know what it means. I don't know what they're doing. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I got to watch this again. <laughs> and it makes me the most angry about Moonraker is Moonraker is my favorite Ian Fleming novel. Hmm. It's actually more faithfully adapted in another one that everybody hates, uh, Tomorrow Never Die. Or not Tomorrow Never Die Another Day. Hmm. Die Another Day is actually a more faithful adaption of Moonraker than, oh, than Moonraker oh, was. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's still that one is not very faithful either, but it's got a lot of the elements. Okay. So Die Another So how so was Die Another Day a title of a book? Or no. they they just took elements from other books and made a movie? Yes. Okay. Let's see, out of all of them, okay, so Doctor No is a book. From Russia with Love is a book. Thunderball is a book. But Thunderball, this is interesting about Goldfinger's a book. Thunderball was actually written as a screenplay that failed. Then he turned it into a book. Then they turned the book into a movie. Oh, God. Check that out. Huh. It's like The Strain. Um, Man with the Golden Gun is from a book. The Living Daylights is a book. 
Um, On Her Majesty's Secret Service is a book. And, okay, where are we? All right, that's plenty. The Spy Who yeah, Loved Me is a book. All right, there you let, go. I'll, it'd be easier for me to tell you the ones that aren't. Yeah, the no, Living I'll Daylight, look it up. The Living Daylights is a short story, oh. which they actually pretty well adapt in the first half hour of The Living Daylights. Uh, License to Kill is not. Well, that's a terrible one anyway, right? He's okay. Yeah? Okay, what am I Benicio thinking? Benicio Del Toro was in that. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Wait, License to Kill? A very, kill? very young Benicio Del Toro. Huh. Oh, wow. It's about drugs, and Wayne Newton's in it, too. Is that the one where he's trying to snipe somebody from down the street or something, and there's like a, at a dance club or something? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't remember. Who is that? Yet. Is that Roger Moore? It's Roger no, Moore. It, Timothy Dalton was Tim- oh, License Dalton. to Kill. Okay. Okay, License to Kill. Then oh, Golden Is that the one with the skiing at the beginning? No. And then I, the submarine, like Iceberg submarine? That's View to a Kill. Oh, that's Roger okay. Moore. Okay. <laughs> View to a Kill, also a short story. Huh. Um, not Had nothing to do with, with Christopher Walken and uh, and Grace <laughs> Jones. Walken? That's View to a Kill with them? Yeah. And the yeah. blimp? Yeah. Okay. Max Zorin. Um, okay, so so License to Kill, not a book. Golden Eye, not a book. Uh, but a killer video game. Yeah. <laughs> Golden Eye was a great video game. Uh, Tomorrow Never Dies, not a not a book. The World Is Not Enough, not a book, but oddly, the Bond family motto. Huh. On the crest, the world is not enough. Okay. Uh, Casino Royale is a book. <laughs> Die Another Day, not a book. Quantum of Solace, not a book. Skyfall, not a book. Spectre, not a book. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. But, of course, the only, what you got left is Property of a Lady and James Bond in New York. That's pretty much the only titles they haven't used. James Bond in New York, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they did some of Property of a Lady in A View to a Kill uh, okay. with the Fabergé eggs and shit. <laughs> yeah, James Bond in New York seems like it should be a comedy. It pretty much uh, was just James Bond going, hey, I'm in New York. There's the Statue of Liberty. You know, it's like it was basically <laughs> Ian Fleming writing about how great New York was, but he's like, well, how the fuck do I sell this? Oh, James Bond's there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Octopussy was a short story, too. Oh, short story. Not, had nothing to do with the movie. All right, I I wasn't paying attention, so you have to go through that whole list again. Oh, well, oh okay. Hopefully, right. you can so, hear it on YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, oh sorry. <laughs> oh, it's now we're dead uh, silent. Yeah, Quit no, showing oh, us. Oh, yeah, yeah. This sorry, is good. Uh, good radio. Good radio. Okay. Good Agents radio. of Shield. Uh, it, it was on. Let's. I mean, we didn't talk about that. I like this episode. I think they're off to a good start. Uh, this whole season it. so far is. Yeah, better a running so theme. Far. You two watch everything, and I watch like nothing. Yeah. Well, everything's starting. It's just the. Oh, we started watching. Uh, <laughs> I tried to. F- I was. We were going to watch. Start watching Fargo too, but it's <laughs> yeah, not I available. Saw, it, I you saw have that to, was coming back. We don't have Hulu, and it's not on anything else. Especially. Oh, was it uh, just a Hulu show? I didn't. Well, know no, that. no. It's uh It's on. Uh, yeah, it's FX. On, yeah, it's on uh, FX. And they're just about to start the second season, I think. Yeah. But, but you can't. It's not available on FX on demand. You have to. It's only on Hulu apparently. Uh, you have to pay, and you have to pay for that, of course. Yeah, yeah. So oh, speaking of which, uh, Netflix did... is going up a buck. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, they have to. You know, they have to. They are producing a lot of. Uh, right. You know hey. stuff. That's what we're like. You know, do we really need Netflix? We could, you know, we could can you know, an extra ten bucks a month. Daredevil. Crap, Jessica Jones is coming. Out. Right, <laughs> I would that. sooner Jones, cancel Luke Cage, cable. Fist, you can't. I'd rather, yeah. Actually, we've discussed canceling cable and just yeah. sticking with Netflix. I can't and, yeah. get Netflix. Right, right. Well, so you're stuck with uh, what you got there. Don't you the have high f- speed? Fucking charter for not running a cable because. They're yeah. perfectly fine. But the other thing is, well, actually, you know what? We probably would spend less just buying all the shows we want to watch on yeah. Amazon than uh, paying for cable every month. See, I probably would do that, too. I would probably just watch them on Netflix or Hulu or something rather than pay for cable. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, but, you know, because like a season of, I think, anything on you could you buy the season pass. It's like 25 bucks or something, maybe 15 for, you know, a whole season of whatever show you want. Like even if and they the episode comes out like the next day or maybe even yeah the same day or I don't even know I haven't done it but yeah you know, versus you know well I mean I guess the only thing that's keeping me with cable is is the internet access because mm-hmm. that would be like 
Well, we, I don't need you cable assholes anymore. I have Netflix. And wait, where's my connection? <laughs> right, right. And I'm sure that would go up to like $100 if I didn't have it bundled with cable. Yeah, that's how mine is, too. We have to bundle it or else it... So, and we use it. We watch football. and I use mine to watch baseball. Yeah. Oh, here you go, Matt. Uh, the what? The Penguin and the Riddler are teaming up in Gotham Season 2. Woo! So something's going to well, happen. Well, I I like the Riddler in the show. Too. I'm excited to see more from him. I kind of – I've never really liked the Penguin well, that much. There's only been three episodes. I like the Penguin. Yeah. I right. like the Penguin. I like the Riddler. I liked the Joker <laughs> before he was he killed and Joker. turned into an abstract idea. He wasn't the Joker. He was a fraud. The he's Joker should he had too much backstory to be the Joker. The Joker part of the well, they thing said with they the Joker. Are, we are going to get the, the origin. Whole, the whole they thing are, is the rise not? of the they villain. They said we will get a Joker origin. Is that origin. is that the origin of the Joker though? It's like, uh, oh no, that's the origin of the idea of the, the Joker. Joker. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we, we have maybe what they showed us is what they're going to be calling the backstory of the Joker and it's just going to be one of these crazy people off the street. It's dumb. Yeah. It's dumb. I don't know. It was when someone threw that out, you know what it was? It was a writer's room thing where they were like, what is the last thing they would expect us to do? Let's kill him. Yeah. And that's what they did. Yeah. Instead of what they well, should have done, the right thing to do, no, which is kill well, Barbara. I think I actually I appreciate part of, I mean, aside from me feeling like the guy was, you know, I, I, yeah, it was just ha- hamming it up a little too much. See, he's he. Uh, Will is clearly anti this guy, and I'm very yes. pro this guy. Right, and actually, I'm toning my rhetoric down for your benefit. Uh, I'm I, not. I, I don't you're a start stupid idiot for not liking him. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, like, uh, well, I guess kind of in a way. I mean, Matt knows the Joker. Nah. Yeah. The Even Joker, though Spider Man is my favorite hero, the Joker, Joker is my favorite villain, and the Joker would never copy someone. No, uh uh-uh. uh. No. True. This guy is either this either was the Joker or there is no Joker. Yeah. Because there's no way the Joker would see this and copy it. He's too original. You know. But that guy just copied Jack Nicholson and and uh he fled everybody. Yeah. I saw I was getting a lot of Cesar Romero out of they it. They said they said he chose the scenes like Cesar Romero, you know, and then huh. he, it's just like he was like merging <laughs> them all. Yes. <laughs> Batman. Yes. Like I said, I still love that scene where he's on TV. He's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, oh. well, I think that went well. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, great. No, I just stop, dead man. When he shot that dude because he stole his punchline, I'm like, that is that's the Joker. That's yeah, exactly. That was a good. He had he had moments of yeah. I appreciate that is exactly that. what the Joker would have done. You don't steal the Joker's punchline, right? If you're but, the Joker's henchman, you sit there and shut up, right? And right. let the Joker do what the Joker does. <laughs> yes, but the other thing, uh, what I was going to say is, um, I also appreciated that they killed him because everybody knew he was going to be the Joker. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I, I Ooh, like the fact that I they think gave that's it what some they did. I think that's what they did. I you think that's what? why they killed him. You, you know what? I've, I've got a theory now. Mm-hmm. Jim Gordon is actually Jim Gordon Jr. We haven't met the real Jim Gordon yet, and Jim Gordon Jr. becomes the Joker. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the hell? Why not? Everybody else is the Joker in this damn show. I know, yeah. Isn't this like the third? Or, I mean, they they ran with Jerome the, the longest, but before him, wasn't there like three guys? There was that a guy that the had Joker? the red hood for a while. Right. Yeah. Well, it was like up one like he episode, was Joker, and then he got killed. Yeah. yeah. He was like, oh, oh, look, he ain't the Joker either. Looky, looky, And then looky, the red hood got hoo, picked hoo, up, hoo. right? Yeah, yeah some, some that was a thing too. Red hood. Yeah. So yeah, actually, there are a couple of different elements that How are floating we get back around. On Gotham? Oh, because I, I was telling you about. Oh, okay, that's right. Because it uh, it's infected the consciousness. I don't know, but you get you just opened up a can of Matt Rant again. Is all you did. Uh, yeah. At New York Comic Con, they did watch the first episode of Jessica Jones. Ooh, what did oh. they say? They're saying it's pretty good. All right, they I'm said David Tennant as the Purple Man is almost because he's in the shadows. He's almost like the Freddy Krueger. Really? He's almost well. He's not a ghost, or but he's like in her subconscious. You know what I mean? It, it's kind of like she's cool. he's messing with her mind. Yeah, he's messing with her mind, which is what he does. Which yeah, is, yeah. That's what Plus, the man does. she probably has like PTSD yeah, from from what he did to her. Life. Yeah, and I at one point I would. You know what I would love is if like we get a couple points of view of her, and every time she sees him, he's purple. But everybody else sees him, he just looks. Well, like Well, there's David there's one where it mm. looks like there's another small mini trailer where she's putting. You know, pictures up on a wall. She turns and walks away, and they kind of morph into David Tennant's like eyes. Mm-hmm. And uh, as he's he's saying her name, his eyes go purple. 
Yeah. So maybe when he uses his power or something, oh, his okay. eyes. Makes sense. But I just it would make that would make sense because it is a hard. Because yes, he can control people with his voice, mm. but he can't walk down the fucking he's street. Purple. He's purple. <laughs> he's like, hey, I think I know who that guy is. Yeah. All right, we're out trying to find the purple mm. man. Could it be that guy? Here's the description. No, he he's is. a purple man. <laughs> If you see him, shoot him. <laughs> he is a little bit more beige. You know, and that's not that purple, man. Hey, Chief. I saw a guy that was, was violet. No, I said purple. <laughs> purple. Purple, you idiot. <laughs> what, is it? what about plum? No, no purple. purple. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of something I just saw. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. It was the thrilling adventure hour. Right? Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm trying to find the audio here. They did have the guy who was uh, who's playing uh, Luke Cage, mm-hmm. and they just kind of like. Does he at any time go sweet Christmas? Yes, if he's, uh, that's the what best. What it thing. was, I as I said, can, to. can can you like I don't know like a phrase that I don't know starts with like something uh, <laughs> something like really sugary and then goes into like a holiday. And, you know, <laughs> and he goes, he goes. Sweet Chris, he goes, he goes, and you will hear that. You will. He goes, and it's the funniest. That is thing. awesome. He said, when I started the role, I thought that's the stupidest thing to say. He goes, the more I say it is Luke, it just it's sounds Luke. right. It just sounds right coming out of Luke K. It's like you know, it's like Beast has to say stars and garters. And yeah, shit like that. oh my stars and garters. Yeah, hmm. that's just great. Oh, I can't believe that there's audio of him saying "Sweet Christmas." Yeah, it was a, a radio. That's show. fantastic. All right, we're over an hour. Do we oh, have I guess we should wrap, wrap it up. up yeah, I guess so. Wrap it up like a peeves on prom night. Hopefully. Or not. Kids. No, no. Wear protection. Safe sex. That's, That's right. a good thing. Oh, we got to do the trivia. Oh, trivia. trivia. I almost forgot again. Let's see. Just randomly picked out of the box. Randomly picked out of the box. Okay. Here we go. Oh. <clears throat> What super team is the Vision on? The Avengers. What villain team was the Scarlet Witch an original member? The Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. mutants. (laughs) Maybe I should let him answer one. (laughs) Yeah, sorry. What organization created the super adaptoid? AIM. Yep. Ah, That's good. Hey, all right. Here's a tricky one now, Matt. That was a guess. All right. Who gave Psylocke her bionic eyes? Oh, shit. Um... Come on. Oh, was it that babysitter? Oh, what is the fuck? Mojo. 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 That was wrong. What was the babysitter guy that was in the 80s, the Claremont run? The nanny. That's was it. that nanny? Yeah. And what issue does Steve Rogers take the identity of Captain America from John Walker? <laughs> fuck, I don't know the I want to say 350. I didn't read Captain Let's America, see. so... The Avengers, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, AIM, there Mojo, go, and Captain oh, America, yeah. 350. Wow. You want to do one more, boys? Yeah, let's do another okay. one. Okay. Let me let the easy one. Okay. <laughs> She-Hulk is a reserve member of which super team? Uh, I'd say there's wait, a couple what? answers. Yeah, <laughs> I've got at least two on yeah. the tip of my tongue right now. She-Hulk is uh, a reserve member of which super team? I don't know. Let's just say Avengers. They okay. seem popular. Or I was the one. The one was Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four for me. Yeah. Or it could be the Mighty Avengers. Or it could be. <laughs> oh, then, yeah, the Uncanny. What Avengers. is Warpath's real name? Apache Chief. John Proudstar. Is that it? Or was that that, that was Thunderbird? Brother. Was John James? I'm betting it's okay. it's John or James. One's the older brother. One's the younger brother. Yeah, because so right. there's Proudstar. Thunderbird and Warpath. Yeah. Yes, Marvel, <laughs> for for not getting into those names that, you know, Indians. What do we got names for Indians, for superheroes? We got Thunderbird, we got Warpath. If there had been a third brother, he would have been Soaring Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Name one of the two teams Captain America was on in World War II. Uh, the Invaders. Yep. Was he on the Howling Commandos? Um... I want to say the the invaders and the all winners squad. He was just yeah, I with can't those think guys. of another one. It was the invaders for Prince sure. Prince Namor's mother was Atlantean. What was his father? A fisherman. It was human. Human. Oh, I was like, yeah, he's a fisherman, wasn't he? How did Shard return to life? This was the nineties. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, 
I Marvel could... had a gigantic crossover that rewrote history, and he came back to life because he never really died. No, I, no, I think Chardon, who they're talking about, is uh, Bishop's sister. Oh, that's right. Time travel. He he had a sister that died, but he like put her brain patterns into his wristwatch and had a hologram, and yeah. Oh, it was the first smartwatch. Apple totally ripped that off. Oh, the Avengers was She-Hulk. James Proudstar was mm-hmm. Warpath. I said in- John. Proudstar. I? The Invaders and the All Winter Squad. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, the All Winter Soldier Squad. No. Coincidence. Oh. Okay, Prince Namor's father was a ship's captain, a sailor, and a human. Oh. Not a fisherman. Oh, Forge shit. turned her into a photon-based being. Forge. So it's technically made now, her hey, a hardline hey, hey, Now there's Forge is a Native American. Yep, that's true. And he doesn't. He's not like Prince Running Bear. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you know, whatever. All right. So, Missed opportunity, Marvel. I know. You gotta keep always, those. Yeah. Be a little more you know, stereotypical. And, I, I want a whole superhero team where it's like, you know, and then there's the Indian superhero whose name is Hodge. <laughs> and, you know, and then there's a... Sweat Lodge. What? <laughs> and then there's like, uh, you know, the Japanese guys like called like something like... Kamikaze. Uh, yeah, Kairi, oh, Kamikaze. <laughs> that is actually a guy. He, I was going to say Silver Samurai. Yeah, and I was like, oh, shit, that he's, exists. He's the, uh, he's the nitro of the DC Universe. He blows up and reforms. Well, that's what you need. You need like Silver Samurai, Warpath, um, like all the stereotypical <laughs> guys. Banshee, he's going to be on there. <laughs> See, and then you gotta have the villain. I'm trying to think of the villains like Yellow Claw. Oh gosh, <laughs> got the Mandarin's gotta be in here. Um, you know, probably something like the Red Guardian, the Man. Yeah, you gotta have all the ethnic god. It was bad. <laughs> Holy <It> was... <laughs> crap! Oh. That was bad. For Disney. Black Goliath's gotta be in there. Yeah, Black Goliath. <laughs> Couldn't just be Goliath. He had to be Black Goliath. <laughs> right. Well, like. What's the guy, the, the, the skiing guy? Black, oh, black, black Knight? Knight? No, the Black Racer. Oh, what, wait, well, the guy on the skis, That's isn't that the Black Knight? No, that's the Black, black Racer. Racer. Yeah, but, he's deaf. Okay, and there's yes. Rocket Racer from yeah from Marvel. So. Black Knight is the guy He's with the cursed sword. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's right. All right. And also the you can chop blade. off his arms and legs and he he doesn't die. <laughs> it's just a flesh no. wound. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, they aren't. <laughs> <laughs> they are. All right. Well, anyway, uh, send all complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com or you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. Well, we already talked about going there. Yeah. And we're going to put that Ash versus Evil Dead up there because yes, that's awesome. We will, so we're we going to put that up there because that's great. We're also on uh, YouTube now. Yes, YouTube. Life, yeah. Do we have an address for the YouTube? Um, Just yeah, search probably. Scramble Brains. Yeah, actually, on you know what? Yeah. I probably should get that nailed Well, in down. the meantime, I'll cover the rest of this. Yep. The rest of this garbage. Mm-hmm. We're on Twitter at ScrambleCast. Uh, also on Tumblr at ScrambleBrainsCast.tumblr.com. Or, you know, you could go to iTunes and give us a review there. That would be great. You should do that. Go to iTunes. Yeah. And give us a review. Subscribe. Whatever you need to do. You know, I one-star review, two-star review, three-star review, five? Mm-hmm. Maybe if we want the penis enlargement with a pretty yeah, good penny wax. No. Five-star review. Get to that. It's yeah. magic. Magic. Anyway, or you could just go to the website, which is www.scramblebrainscast.com, and download all the episodes um, from right from there. And you can subscribe. And there's links to all this other crap on there. So right. if you can't remember any of the other shit I said, just go to www.scramblebrainscast.com, and you can find it there. And there will be a link uh, there to, to the, the YouTube, YouTube page. To the YouTube page. Or you could just probably go to YouTube and put Scramble Brains. Yeah, Cast. maybe. I don't know. Or you just get a bunch of old uh, Three Stooges. Bits. Right, probably the same. Actually, if you go to YouTube slash Wordsco, oh, it's on that page right now. There you go. Uh, YouTube slash Wordsco. W e r j c o. Um, but I think I am gonna move it to Scramble Brain YouTube slash Scramble, Scramble Brains. Brains Cast. Okay. Actually, Scramble Brains is already taken. I just discovered. So. What? Those yes. fucking posers. Yep. They need to get some uh, attitude adjustment for taking our name. Yeah. Uh, I think that, yeah. Actually, I think they're asking for it. Uh, you, you know, find them. 
We break some kneecaps. Mm. That's what we do, boys. Let's go. Or you could break their cellos. Apparently, it has something to do with uh, oh, classical so music. Oh, they're, so they're band nerds. This will be easy. <laughs> yeah, it's all like footage of people playing cellos. It would be unfortunate if your cello got shot up. But you can use it as a toboggan, as we saw in The Living Daylights. Bring it full circle. That's all I'm saying. They have one subscriber. So if they want to... If they want to give us their page, they... Well, you need to talk to them. Nobody cares about your stupid cello videos. What they care about is nerd culture and jokes about farts and penises and oh, yeah. things of that nature. And, you know, we're talking about boobies a lot. And and we talk about, like, The Walking Dead and shit like that. That's what people care about. Fart not penis. cellos. Fart penises. Fart penises. <laughs> <sighs> That's if if we named episodes, fart penis should be the name of this episode. <laughs> right. Also, if you guys want to start a band called Fart Penis, oh, I'm that in. would be great. <laughs> and if hey, what you need to do is you need to start a band called Fart Penis, then record a song called Scrambled Brains, and we will use it as our intro song. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, guys. That is a challenge. Actually, if, if anybody else out there wants to start a band called Fart Penis and have a song called Scrumble Brains, we will use it as our theme Anybody. Song. Anybody. I don't care. Yes. Anybody. Unless it's like cello music. Well, you know what? I, I, I actually love the cello. You, a cello band called Fart Penis would be a terrible idea. I don't I like it. Okay, whatever. Fine. Anyway, goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other. Fart penises. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>